circles objectives define circle to study about the concept of tangent to a circle and number of tangents from a point on a circle circle a circle is a collection of all points in a plane which are at a constant distance radius from a fixed point center you have also studied various terms related to a circle like chord segment sector arc etc let us now examine the different situations that can arise when a circle and a line are given in a plane so let us consider a circle and a line pq there can be three possibilities one the line pq and the circle have no common point in this case pq is called a non intersecting line with respect to the circle two there are two common points a and b that the line pq and the circle have in this case we call the line pq a secant of a circle three there is only one point a which is common to the line pq and the circle in this case the line is called a tangent to the circle tangent to a circle a tangent to a circle is a line that intersects the circle at only one point theorem the tangent at any point of a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact proof we are given a circle with center o and tangent xy to the circle at a point p we need to prove that op is perpendicular to xy take a point q on xy other than p and join oq the point q must lie outside the circle why note that if q lies inside the circle xy will become a secant and not a tangent to the circle therefore oq is longer than the radius op of the circle that is oq is greater than op since this happens for every point on the line xy except the point p op is the shortest of all the distances of the point o to the points of xy so op is perpendicular to xy remarks by theorem above we can also conclude that at any point on a circle there can be one and only one tangent the line containing the radius through the point of contact is also sometimes called the normal to the circle at the point number of tangents from a point on a circle to get an idea of the number of tangents from a point on a circle let us perform activity activity draw a circle on a paper take point p inside it can you draw a tangent to the circle through this point you will find that all the lines through this point intersect the circle in two points so it is not possible to draw any tangent to a circle through a point inside it next take a point p on the circle and draw tangents through this point you have already observed that there is only one tangent to the circle at such a point 
Finally, take a point P outside the circle and try to draw tangents to the circle from this point. What do you observe? You will find that you can draw exactly two tangents to the circle through this point. We can summarize these facts as follows. Case 1. There is no tangent to a circle passing through a point lying inside the circle. Case 2. There is one and only one tangent to a circle passing through a point lying on the circle. Case 3. There are exactly two tangents to a circle through a point lying outside the circle. The length of the segment of the tangent from the external point P and the point of contact with the circle is called the length of the tangent from the point P to the circle. Theorem The lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. Proof We are given a circle with center O. A point P lying outside the circle and two tangents PQ, PR on the circle from P. We are required to prove that PQ is equal to PR. For this, we join OP, OQ and OR. Then, angle OQP and angle ORP are right angles because these are angles between the radii and tangents. OQ is equal to OR radii of the same circle. OP is equals to OP. Common. Therefore, triangle OQP is equal to triangle ORP, RHS. This gives PQ is equal to PR, CPCT. Conclusion In this chapter, we have studied about the following concept. The meaning of a tangent to a circle. The tangent to a circle is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact. The lengths of the two tangents from an external point to a circle are equal.